Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and in today's video we'll show you how to set up your orders monitor. To get started, please go to the left side menu bar and click on your monitors tab. After that, click on the orders monitor on the top of the screen. The orders monitor is an AutoDS feature which is responsible for automatically raising or lowering the price of your items. Now we all know that being competitive in pricing is one of the key factors for success when doing online e-commerce. And so this feature here can automatically make sure that your prices are always right on the money. Meaning if your item doesn't sell, AutoDS will automatically lower the price of the listing based on your pre-designed settings. If your item does sell, AutoDS will also be able to increase the price of the listing, again according to your predetermined settings, and make sure you're capitalizing on the maximum amount of profit possible for this listing. In this way, AutoDS will always be automatically adjusting the price of your items to make sure you're getting as many sales as possible with as much profit as possible. So let's see how everything works. To change our settings, we'll need to scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the editing icon right here. Next, we'll need to tell AutoDS what to do when a product is sold. Here we can have AutoDS alert us when we have a sale or raise the quantity to make sure our item doesn't go out of stock. Quantity to raise setting will tell AutoDS what quantity to put on our listing after a sale. I'd like the quantity for my listing after an item sells to go up to 5. If we'll scroll further down, here we can disable or enable automatic price change for our item after a sale. We can of course raise the price only for the first sale or raise it after each sale. We can start the price raise after X times sold. So let's start raising the price after our item sells three times. When our product is sold, let's raise additional percentage profit by 2% and additional profit by 0.3. Here we can set an upper limit for this price raise. So the maximum percentage limit will be 15% and the maximum amount limit will be $5. So now let's do a quick recap of our price increase settings. According to these settings, after our listing sells for three times, AutoDS will start to increase the price after each sale. The profit percentage increase will be 2%. This means that your additional profit percentage will be increased for this listing by 2% after each sale. Next, we can see the increase in the dollar profit after a sale. Now, this account currency is in USD, but if your account is in a different currency, of course, you'll see it reflect accordingly. And so after each sale, the profit settings for our listing will be increased by 2% and 0.3 dollars or 30 cents. After that, we have our price increase limits. So we can set a cap on our settings and make sure that the price does not increase beyond a certain point. According to these settings, whenever the additional percentage profit setting for our listing will reach 15%, the orders monitor will no longer raise the price after a sale. And for the additional dollar profit, our maximum price raise limit will be $5, meaning that whenever the additional dollar profit field for this listing will reach 5, the orders monitor will no longer raise the price for the item after a sale. If we scroll further down, we can enable or disable price drop so we can drop the price after the item hasn't sold for 15 days. Drop price percentage will be 5% and the drop price amount will be zero. Here I can also set a lower limit for this price drop. So price is not allowed to go down by more than 10% or by more than $10. Whenever I'm ready, I'll click on the check mark right here to save my settings. System will ask us for confirmation. 
And that's it, we've successfully updated our orders monitor. After making any change to your monitor settings, please make sure that the monitor is working right here. You can of course stop and reactivate your monitor if necessary at any time through this button right here. I hope you have enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to configure your orders monitor for your AutoDS account. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.